Hello everyone, this is Rajesh. All of you are familiar with robots and robotic arms. Robotic arms are usually used in high speed, precise tasks like pick and place, assembling, packaging, etc. Here you can see the robotic arm called SCARA or Selective Compliance Assembly Robotic Arm. This robotic arm has a unique design and it has three stepper motors and two servo motors. This is the controller of the robotic arm and the brain is this ESP32C6. The three stepper motors are controlled by these three TMC2209 drivers. We can control and teach the arm to do a movement using the UI and we can record and repeat the movement. We can use this arm to do specific tasks like pick and place, assembly, etc. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a SCARA robotic arm. Before starting the video, let me introduce the sponsors of this video, DigiKey. DigiKey is a global leader in cutting-edge component distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. They provide more than 15.9 million components from over 3,000 manufacturers with products and stock available for immediate shipment. Also, with their fast shipping and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your product will arrive on time and in top condition. So, do remember to check out DigiKey for your next project. Let's start by explaining the schematic diagram of this project. Here, I used ESP32C6 as the brain of this project. I chose ESP32C6 because of its small size and availability of enough GPIOs. Here I added the necessary components for the proper working of ESP32. Here you can see three TMC2209 stepper motor driver modules. TMC2209 is an ultra silent motor driver for two phase stepper motors. The output of each motor is connected to four pin JST connectors. Then this ADP7118 LDO from analog devices is used to provide stable 3.3 volt to the circle. The LM2596 step down switching IC from Texas instruments provide 5 volt to the circle. Next is this MAX6899 voltage supervising IC from analog devices which is used to properly reset the ESP32. Additionally, I added a USB Type-C socket for uploading code to the ESP32 and an RGB LED for status indication. Now let's assemble the robotic arm. Here are the components required for building the SCARA robots. Most of the parts can be 3D printed. Additionally, we need three stepper motors and two servos. Let's start by assembling the clipper section. First, I fixed the servo using the screws. Then attach the grippers to the servo. This is the main frame of the robotic arm. Here I placed X and Y stepper motors and secured with the screws. This is the Z axis motor. I assembled the frame like this. Then I fixed the threaded rod to the stepper motor using the coupling. After that, I inserted the Z axis motor to the base part. Then I fixed the guiding rods to the base part and inserted the top arm path through the rods. Finally, I attached the wrist servo to the arm and attached the gripper servo. Here you can see the assembled robotic arm. You can see the movements of gripper, wrist and the arm. You can also see the position change when I turn the stepper motors. Finally, I attach the stepper motors and servos using long wires and connected to the controller port. Here I am powering the controller board with the 8 volt 5 ampere supply, connected the assembled PCB with the USB cable and connected it to my PC. So here is the Arduino code for the SCARA robotic arm. First we need to add two libraries. You can download the libraries from the article. Axle stepper library allows to control stepper motor acceleration, precise positions, etc. With the help of ESP32 servo library, we can control servo motors using ESP32. Then we defined the three stepper motors and the pins for stepper motors. Stepper 1, stepper 2, stepper 3 are instances of the axle stepper class for three stepper motors. Gripper servo and wrist servo are two servo objects which helps to control the gripper and wrist. The L1 and L2 defines the lengths of two segments of the robotic arm, which is used for calculating the positions of joints based on equations. Theta 1 angle 2 steps, Theta 2 angle 2 steps, Z angle 2 steps. These constants convert the angles into stepper motor steps. The value indicates how many motor steps corresponds to one degree change in each joint angle. 
gripper close angle and gripper open angle that defines the open and closed positions of the gripper servo. In the setup section, we initialize the serial communication for debugging, which allows sending and receiving commands via the serial monitor at 1150-200 baud range. Also set the maximum speed and acceleration of stepper motors here. In the loop section, continuously checks if there is incoming data from the serial port. If available, it reads the command string and passes it to execute command function for processing. Execute command function interprets command sent over serial and call the appropriate function. For example, if home comes in serial, the execute function calls homing to move all motors to a default home position, usually a zero position. Similarly, move commands reads x, y, z positions from the command and calls move to position to move the arm to the specified coordinate. Here you can see the functions for homing, movement, etc. We are communicating the arm with serial commands. Before uploading the code, you need to select the board as ESP32C6. Also enable the CDC boot option. Here is the graphical interface for controlling the arm. This is a Python based UI. Before opening the UI program, you need to change the communication port in the program. For that, right click and select edit with notepad. Here you need to add the correct COM port and then save. Now open the UI and you can see the interface. Now in the interface, we can control the arm using the sliders like this. Also, we can record and replay the movements of the arm using these buttons. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed and learned how to build SCARA Robotic Camp from this video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.